Well, Jessica, Jimmy Breslin was a quintessential New York character, a gruff, cigar-chomping newspaper man who always looked out for regular people and championed the underdog. Between you and I, when you say that, you're a moron. Tough talking and always outspoken, Jimmy Breslin was New York. He won the Pulitzer Prize in 1986 while writing a column for the New York Daily News at its old headquarters on 42nd Street. The committee saying he, quote, consistently championed ordinary citizens. Breslin died Sunday at his high rise apartment on 57th Street, but never forgot his roots in Ozone Park, Queens. I run because New York is a wounded city. He ran for city council president in 1969. Advocating for the poor and disenfranchised in the outer boroughs, even trying to get the city to secede and become the 51st state. The city's dying. It's falling apart. No one seems to understand it because they're all in Manhattan. He often held court at a local bar, talking about big scoops like the Son of Sam serial killer case with David Berkowitz writing Breslin letters before he got caught. He covered the murder of John Lennon, mob bosses, corruption, and most of all, people. At President Kennedy's funeral, Breslin famously focused not on heads of state, but a worker at Arlington National Cemetery, writing he, quote, finished breakfast and left his apartment so he could spend Sunday digging a grave for John Fitzgerald Kennedy. He was an amazing combination, a brilliant man, a Pulitzer Prize winner, but down to the end, he was an average Joe. He never tried to be fancy, pretentious in any way. When you read a Jimmy Breslin column, you knew who he was and what his values were. Governor Cuomo says he grew up with Breslin, a longtime friend of his late father, Mario Cuomo. Sunday, he called Breslin a journalistic giant from a time gone by. He was not a blogger or a tweeter or a 10 word guy, you know, that's not who he was. He was an authentic voice for New York. He was the people's voice. A voice that will certainly be missed on the front pages and the streets of New York City. His writing style is now a staple in journalism schools. James Earl Jimmy Breslin died of complications from pneumonia this morning, according to his daughter. He was 88 years old. Jessica.